In this tutorial, we will make the center ruffle heart dress. As before, for regular fabric, we begin by preparing two panels slightly bigger than the dimensions of the Dress 2 file. We'll sandwich a piece of steam seam light tube between two pieces of fabric with the right sides out. This is to prevent fraying of the fabric. We'll iron the fabric to set the bond. Hoop a piece of stabilizer and load the dress to file. Then stitch the die line for the dress. Cover the die line for the dress with a piece of fabric or a piece of felt. Stitch the tack down for the dress. Stitch the die line for the center ruffle section. Also, two guidelines for where to place the ruffle will also stitch. Use temporary spray adhesive to secure the lace or the ruffles on each side of the vertical guidelines and then cover all of this with felt. This trim is from Walmart. Stitch the center tack down line. Next, we can stitch the hearts. Trim away excess belt from around the tack lines. Be careful not to cut the ruffles underneath.
Cover the dress outline with the other fabric panel or a piece of felt. Stitch the final tack down line. Remove the dress and flip over and trim around the die line of the dress. We'll cut down the center of the back of the dress halfway. Remove the stabilizer and turn the dress right side out. On the reverse side, about a quarter of an inch from the cut and a half an inch down from the top edge of the dress, you can attach snap button connectors. Of course, again, alternatives here would be self-adhesive Velcro strips or a hook and eye closure. Again, I'm using the snap pliers to attach male and female connectors on opposite sides of the slit we cut. Snap pliers come with instructions on how to apply the snaps, but the main thing is that one is oriented facing up and the other one is facing down. Stay tuned because up next we will stitch the tiered lace dress for our In the Hoop doll.